Well, howdy folks and welcome to episode one of season four. Just looking at the competitions we have in store for us this season. We're in the Chicken Express Western States Shield and obviously our board is expecting us to win that. The Tim Cahill FFA Cup, which again, we have done quite well in last year. I think we made round five, which was a very good effort. We've got North Queensland Fury in this episode today. So that will be interesting to see how we go in that first round encounter. And also for the first First time we have qualified for the Johnny Warren Cup having made it into this uh, Chicken Express Western State Shield so it's actually a big competition it covers a lot of the teams and it's a pool and then knockout stage competition in interesting news Jesse Foster has chosen to leave us to go to Heidelberg United and we wish him well in his endeavors there and to fill some of the holes that we have because of people leaving the club, we've actually signed Nicholas Pennington to a deal. He was a free transfer because our financial resources are pretty limited right at the moment. Our junior, Angelo Monti, has also decided to leave us to join Adelaide City. So once again, we, we get some in, but with them we also lose some. Another purchase for us, Ivan Michelotti has joined us as a defender, just to bolster our ranks in that position. Once more, he came to us as a free transfer. So getting ready for our first game of the year, the Tim Cahill FFA Cup Round 1 Clash against North Queensland Fury. So many familiar faces there, but we do have the odd new signing there. Pennington will be starting in the midfield, for instance, there. But Barry Banman will take the armband today. And it's North Queensland Fury with the corner. Davidas is holding it up there, looking for an attacker there. Going backwards and forwards to feed us there. Crosses it in there. And it is Chris Brooking with the opening goal. Four minutes in. North Queensland one. Humpty do nil at the moment. And Agwick on the move for North Queensland Fury there. Uh, but Alcazar's gone in hard there on the defence there. But uh, North Queensland have the ball back. There's Bontor there. And there was Brooking again. And Bella holding it up. Oh, and Schumer Fats giving away a... Pretty reckless penalty there. Stavitas there with the penalty. Beats Fisher easily. It is 2-0 in the 10th minute. So the Humpty, Boy, Humpty Doo boys have been shell-shocked there. Fisher from the back now. There's Brutalized there. Running again there. He's a there and it is pierced off. Getting his first goal of the season to bring it back to 2-1. So... They really needed to hit back there. They'd been a little bit shell-shocked there. There's Pennington now. Gunn crosses it in, and Zoudegas. First goal for the season for him, and it's 2-2. We have parity after 18 minutes. There's bowling up the back there for North Queensland Fury. It's just before half time, And there's Zoudegas again to Doff. And Doff puts the ball away. So after a very slow start, Humpty Doo boys will go into half time at 3-2 in front. And it's the second half now. There's Fisher there. Ben Alcazar there. Holds it up for Swaggins there. There's Truma Fat. Gave away that penalty earlier on, but has settled since then. He's with the ball. Down the left-hand side. Crosses it in. And finds out a gas above the keeper. Heads it in. It's 4-2 now. So the boys are breathing a sigh of relief there. Bannerman. Back to Benalcazar there. Puts it forward. Can't find a Zoudegas there. And North Queens are on the front there. There's Bella. Oh, that's a terrible effort from Fisher. It's gone straight underneath him. So 4-3. So North Queensland Fury are not going away. 65th minute. They push it forward. And there's Eases again. And he's got the goal. And it is 4-4. What a seesawing game this has turned out to be. And there's Doff there. Crosses it in. Looking for Zoudegas. Can't find him. There's Pennington, the new boy. Holding it up. And, oh, Bannerman. Unlucky not to get a penalty there, but Ray Gunn puts the ball away anyway. So 5-4. So the boys have definitely been made to work today. There's Tucker. Push, pushing it back there now. He's a, has the ball there. Looking to cross it in. Finds Doff there. Crosses it in there. And Gunn gets his second of the game. 6-4. So once again, there's a bit of daylight between the two teams. But Humpty Doo cannot be 
impressed with their defending today. And there is Doff now. Oh, Bannerman to Zadigas there. Looking to cross it in there. Holds it up there. Finds Bannerman again. And it is Sly. Oh no, it's Ray Gunn who ends up putting the ball in the net. And it is 7-4 now. So it's a goal, goal frenzy in this game. So not a lot of defense. Farinazzo there, pushing it back to Tucker. Back to Farinazzo there. There's Doff and Gunn, and he puts the ball away. That's his hat-trick for the game, I believe. Or maybe even four goals. So it's 8-4. And that is the way that the game finished. 8-4, but a few uh, questions in defense there, especially with the start, I would suspect. So looking at the draw for round two in the FFA Cup, we will once again be playing away to the Western Bears. So with just a few friendlies under our belt and the one game there, undefeated with a draw against Gallowinko in the friendly. But our next competition game will be the Johnny Warren first game against Sunshine Coast Warriors. In a move to try and bolster our finances, Dildo Swaggins has been sold to Salernitana so we are looking at a fee of 600k there which should actually help us and we also have a clause there for the percentage of the next sale as well so hopefully that will help us out and to further bolster our defense we have signed Siga Kulabali on a free transfer a lot of experience with him so hopefully he can help our defensive line so the finances for the Dildo Swaggins deal has put us back in the black so 105k again but our wage bill will be eating into that very quickly so don't expect that to do too much for us but it does give us a little bit of a buffer and in further news we are going to be losing Tucker B but we do have him loaned back for half of the season so we'll have him till about January before he then goes to the Brisbane Raw and we do have a clause there and uh, 135000 for his fee so hopefully that will bolster us further so with respect to the Johnny Warren Cup we are in group E. Now there are 20 groups and only 16 places into the next round so you pretty well need to win your group and win it well to guarantee moving into the next round. So preparing for our first game in the Johnny Warren Cup against Sunshine Coast Wanderers. Our new boys Michelotti, Pennington and Koulibaly from the bench are all in the side today as well as brutalised and pierced off up front. And there's Bannerman at the back there. Holds it up for Benalcazar. Pushes it forward there. There's Brutalized pushing it in for Doff. And it is a goal after 22 minutes. 1-0. And in the second half now. So only a 1-0 advantage. There's Shocker there at the back. Pennington pushes it through there for Doff. Doff. Crosses it. Oh, he doesn't cross it. He goes for it himself. Fourth goal of the season for him. It's 2-0. And Alcazar from the back there. There's Shen, standing tall and proud, crosses it in there, and there's Brutalized with his first goal of the season, 3-0. So just starting to put our stamp of authority on the game now. There's Michelotti to Pennington. Shen holding it up, beating his man well. Oh, that's great work. And he's crossed it in for Doff, 4-0. So after a slow first half, the boys have scored three unanswered goals in this half, and that is the way that game stayed. So, once again, we have the goal difference anomaly here, which has been fixed in the database. I did put something out about that earlier. So yes, even though it is in existence here at the moment, it has been fixed. Interesting to note also that Enfield City are in our group as well. So we can't really get away from these guys. We've uh, played in two competitions with them, and they've come up with us both times, and now they're in our Johnny Warren pool as well. In further departure news for the club, Schumer Fat is going to be leaving us for Avondale. Only a fair 4000 for him, but we do have a 40% of next sale clause in that contract. So another one bites the dust, but gives other people's opportunities to stand up. We were also going to lose an Alcazar service because APR Leichhardt were very interested in him, but we couldn't quite come to terms with an agreement. We finally got one, but 
the transfer window closed before that could be finalized. So he is with us for the immediate future. So in the second round of the Tim Cahill FFA Cup, we had a dominant win over Western Bears 4-1. No highlights for this game because we want to try and get through the save as quickly as we can. So looking at our fixtures, you can also see that we've had a second Johnny Warren Cup game there, which we won against the Melbourne Knights 5-3. Ray Gunn scoring a hat-trick in that game. And as you can see, the Western Bears result there was a 4-1 win with Ray Gunn scoring two and Brutalise and Lucky also getting goals. We're progressing really nicely, but the next game that we have for you will be the extended highlights for the Blacktown City game in the Johnny Warren. This is a top of the table clash in that competition. Both teams are undefeated after their first two games. Meanwhile, we have drawn Litchfield for round three of the Tim Cale FFA Cup. So despite the boost of some of those sales, we are still in the red with our finances, but uh, hopefully we can do something to turn that around shortly. And we have decided to sell the sell-on clause for Sim Bookie, which will give the club a beautiful 1.84 million from Union Berlin. That is going to be very timely and put us into the black for a considerable amount of time. And there you have it, 1.4 million in the black now. A very healthy deal for us at a very important time. And interestingly enough, OGC Nice have sent Dick Splash out for a loan to the League 2 side Rodez. Obviously not getting enough game time for OGC Nice at the moment, so hopefully that will help his development. And here it is, probably the biggest game of the year for us to this point of the year, the Johnny Warren Cup, our third game in this Group E competition there. So once again, Michelotti Pennington are starting, Koulibaly is on the bench. Zoutagas gets the call to go as a starter with Doff, his partner. No Brutalize there to see. Now the reason is that Brutalize is currently on international duty. And the teams are lined up on the field, ready for kickoff. Bannerman with the throw there to Zoutagas. Pushes it back to Bannerman, pushes it forward there. Queefer, Doff hits the post and Gun misses from in front as well. That's two really bad misses there. Michelotti with the corner. Queefer with the ball now. Crosses it in, but it is deflected to the keeper, although it looks like they've won the corner there. So Farinazzo with the corner, crosses it in, and it is over the bar. There's Benalcazar pushing it forward. There's Fine Zoutagas. He's found Queefer there, pushes it forward there, finds Farinato, crosses it in, and Zoutagas with the head. It is in, 1-0 to Humpty Doo over Blacktown. McFarlane with the throw for Blacktown. Into the second half now. And there's Fisher from the back there, Ben Alcazar. There's Queefer now going down the right-hand side. Showing plenty of place, pace there. Crosses it in there, but it's well defended there by Blacktown. Although Pennington has the ball now for Humpy Doo. Crosses it out. Michelotti crosses it back in there. And Zoutagas probably should have done better there, but it's still 1-0. And it's Blacktown with the ball pushing it forward there. And they cross it in. That's Holtz there. Crosses it in there. And Sam Bloomberg equalizes. 77th minute. It is 1-1. Duncan pushes it forward for Blacktown, but that's not really going anywhere. Fisher with the ball in his hand. We are in injury time. So six minutes of injury time. So we've got about five minutes left, give or take. Koulibaly crosses it across. And there's Doff there. Doff again, holds it up. Finds Pennington. Pennington with the ball through to Zoutagas. Zoutagas gets it, his brace for the game. And 2-1 in injury time. That could be the winner. And in fact, yes, we have won that game. So we go to the top of the table in Group E of the Johnny Warren. Undefeated, which is really, really important as well. So we are going to leave it there today. Excellent win there. Probably had the better of the game without being able to put the ball in the net. Had a few opportunities that we blew. But anyway, we'll leave it there and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for joining us.